Hello, my name is Spencer T. Fulmer, and welcome to another episode of Film Hustle. So this week, I want to be talking a little bit about inspiration. Inspiration as it relates to the arts and creativity and writing screenplays, but also inspiration in our lives. What is it in your life that inspires you, or who is it? For me personally, the person that comes to mind when I think about inspiration is actually a, an old British pastor. He has a church here in the Midwest in the States. During college, I was actually hired to film this pastor back in his hometown in London. You know, whenever you're on set with someone, uh, you kind of get to really know people in a short amount of time, and all of the pressures of life are magnified. What I found to be so inspiring about this old British pastor, you know, whether we were traveling together or on the plane or eating breakfast in the morning, whether we were shooting or recording, he was talking in front of a couple of people or talking in front of hundreds, almost a thousand people at a church. This man was consistent. He was loving, he was humble. He was probably the funniest person in any crowd. What struck me at that time in my life is that this man is so open about his faith and his spirituality and what he believes in the Bible, and he wasn't a hypocrite. I'm sure he is in some areas of life, and that's not what I'm trying to prove. But for me, this man inspired me. It encouraged me to be more consistent in my life so that I'm not someone in one area of life and another person in a completely other area of life. I want to be consistent so the person that you see when I'm talking on the camera here is the same person that you would see on the streets or on a set. We all have our bad days, of course. But to be consistent is really a gift to the world. This old British pastor really inspired me to live and be a more authentic person. It's tough, right? Especially in the arts, especially in the media world. But even with the stories we tell, we want to be authentic and consistent. 